why are the people why are the Jewish peoples that inhabit the area now known as the state of Israel never called the sons of God or the children of the most I God Jaras the far eye the answer is plain and simple because they are not and this is in fact a generalization all white Caucasian Ashkenazi Sephardic or whatever other denominations they might be at best they are converts the original the true and real um, sons um, of Jacob in the days of old are in fact Ethiopian peoples now when we say Ethiopians it's not limited to to vain man-made make pretend boundaries uh, we in fact mean all black peoples that inhabit this earth and uh, on the forward um, let us discredit while we're at it uh, this so-called land or state of Israel for it is not it is not thus um, although it is within the, the geographical um, area that pertains to the children of Israel the black peoples of the world um, it is not the you know um, that that little piece of land is is um if anything but a small portion of the true promised land and now we ask that ones not be immature about this um, it is not our intention to disrespect to make fun of to you know to um to harm or hurt or offend anyone uh, it, it is only truth you know fact of the matter is that I mean just just do some research nowadays it shouldn't take more than five minutes to just conclude the only conclusion that can be concluded you know um the children of Jacob are black that's it you know it's uh, Christ is black and and um, Ethiopian and God the Father Edamawi is is um Ethiopian as well and black you know get over it so you know let truth be true and and um, all lovers of truth you know we we hope that um, thou are able to receive willingly now let us discredit on um, the state of Israel the actual land uh, and this is we are going to read a short quote from what appears to be the Palestine Post uh, the title of this newspaper is state of Israel is born it reads here quote by virtue of the natural man and historic right of the Jewish people and of the resolution of the General Assembly of the United Nations we hereby proclaim the establishment of the Jewish state in Palestine to be called the state of Israel Friday May 14 1948 48 now let us read that once more with some insight by virtue of the non-spiritual thus natural and historic false not accurate if anything um, corrupt and rewritten historic right uh, the only right is Geta Jesus's righteousness and thus this is referring to natural and historic right um, no this is this has no authority all authority has been placed in the hands given by the Father to the Son in the hands of Geta Jesus Christos, you know. So, so this is this is um. There's no foundation to this. It, it lacks authority by virtue of the natural and historic right, which is discredited of the Jewish people. I mean, we're not going to get into that, but Jewish is not. It's it's not even proper, and of the resolution of the General Assembly of the United Nations. Now the General Assembly of the UN, um, it too exercises no power, no authority whatsoever. Uh, it's a vain imagination. And they, of all people, are not strangers to Kedamawi Haile Shalasi, the living Godfather. Um, they have had their, um, their moments with the Almighty. And they have proven time and time again that they are not willing to make their wills obedient to good influences they have nothing of the father they know it not the father or they know it 
for they knew not the Son as well. You know, how can they know the Father? They don't even accept the Son. So yeah, the General Assembly of the United Nations, you know, God the Father spoke to them oftentimes, and um, if not always, the majority of the times, these wicked, vain individuals, uh, you know, just did what they willed, and thus we've inherited the tragedy of our time, but basically we're just trying to dis discredit these people that, that um, you know, that disobeyed God, the living Father, you know, and so thus no authority and it goes on it goes on to say we hereby and this is the general assembly of the united nations we hereby proclaim as if they had any right to proclaim anything but maybe their repentance uh hereby proclaim the establishment as if they were under uh, as if they had any authority to establish anything but but corruption in in their case of the Jewish state in Palestine so hereby proclaim the establishment of the Jewish state in Palestine this is a confession that that land which they claim is the, the land of Israel is in fact Palestine it says so right here hereby proclaim the establishment of the Jewish so-called state well it is a state but it's not it has nothing to do with biblical um, land of Israel in Palestine, it says right there, it doesn't say Jewish state in the in the promised land, in the land promised by the God, the Almighty God, creator of all that is good to Abraham, to Isaac, and to, to Jacob. No, it does not say to, you know, to the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. This is not the will of the Father. This is not the works of the Almighty. Well, it does serve for the ultimate purpose of the Creator, but it's not um, Him that is setting up this state of the stained of mind, right? This Jewish stained in Palestine. Basically, that's it. That's all we wanted to say. Uh, this is confession that that land is in fact Palestine, but they're they're proclaiming and establishing the make the make believe, and uh, that they're going to pretend that. That, that this is now called the State of Israel. It says there, to be called the State of Israel, Friday, May 14th, 1948. Uh, basically, there is no authority, there is no um, legitimacy. Uh, white Jews are not, in fact, the original. At best, they are converts. And we ask all to be mature about this. Um, we are generalizing. It's a generalization. And we know that rules have exceptions. And we know for a fact that there are true and faithful followers of the Mashiach, of the Son of God, you know, that, that seek to, to walk in that way and, um, and live that exemplary life that has been set by Jesus Christos. And so it's not to say that, that none inhabiting this, this make-belief Israel are are worthy of of the name sons of God. I mean, we know that that surely there are many, but for the most part, uh, you know, for the most part, and and not even that. I mean, just fact of the matter is that the that the children of Jacob were black, and you know, it's unfortunate that we have to. Uh, you know, have to say that because um, this should be well known. I mean, stop making belief and stop pretending it is what it can only be. So, the state of Israel is not the will of God, although it does serve for his ultimate purpose. And the Jewish, white, Caucasian, Ashkenazi, Sephardic um, converts are not the 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 children of Israel, the children of Jacob, at least not the original. But if they so choose to accept Christ and accept God the Father, the living God Father, then, then and, you know, and try their maximum to live that exemplary life as we too are to do, um, then, then, sure, you know, then, as we, so are they worthy of, of taking that name, of being called of the Father to serve the Son. 
you know and so basically that's that's all we're trying to say i mean you know individuals out there don't get offended we're not trying to hurt no one this is the only truth you know so we give thanks to all shalom class temporary